So, good morning, everyone. I am uh, Martina Srimnaila from uh, uh, Lithuania National Paying Agency, Control Department. And today I would like uh, to share experience uh, with Sanfocap in Lithuania. Uh, I will uh, shortly introduce main goals for Sanfocap. Uh, uh, experience uh, what we did in 2020 claim year. Uh, how it helped us to reduce field visits and uh, of course a summary of uh, lessons learned and shortly introduce a uh, link uh, with NIVA project and what we are doing in, in NIVA project. Uh, main goals uh, for Central Cap uh, results uh, were to pilot uh, the checks by monitoring approach uh, as much as possible and introduce uh, results and possibilities to Ministry of Agriculture and, uh, of course, farmers uh, monitor and evaluate uh, main activities and requirements uh, and make suggestions to change uh, the legislation rules if it's needed. Uh, also assess uh, the quality of algorithms by using in situ data from the fields and uh, and finally, assess uh, the timing of the data and its uh, correlation with existing uh, IAX workflows. Uh, so, uh, during the 2020 claim year, we had a very active and fruitful cooperation with the SunfoCap team. Uh, before the declaration, they agreed on, on the transmission, transmission of uh, declaration data, and uh, then the SunfoCap team uh, will upload uh, the, the results of the algorithms. Uh, all these dates uh, were adjusted to inspection timeline, so it's like uh, uh, piloting or semi-operational level of, uh, of check by monitoring. So it was a, a real great experience uh, to deal with such approach. Of course, uh, there were some differences between planned and actual dates. Uh, uh, with uh, declaration results upload because of, of this COVID pandemic station and uh, and uh, uh, results delay from Cephocap team side and main main issue uh, was uh, caused by testing the cloud cloud mask toolbox Sengi uh, Core uh, because it, it was uh, our decision to test this Sengi uh, Core uh, toolbox and to see the differences and of course. Uh, uh, at, at final stage, uh, results with my engine were much better. So uh, all all results uh, needed to, to be recalculated twice. So it, the main delay caused uh, by, by this situation. But luckily, uh, we 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 had the ability to to reach uh, our timeline, and uh, we used. Uh, uh, all, all these results uh, on, on operational level. So uh, during uh, mm, on the spot check uh, campaign, uh, it helped us uh, to reduce uh, field visits. And uh, first time we used uh, crop type, uh, rather than mowing uh, results after validation to confirm uh, com field compliance without field visits. Uh, all, all the measurements were made on the remote sensing images and uh, crop type and grassland moving activity there uh, confirmed by, by Synthocap results. So it, less, it led us uh, to reduce uh, uh, overall uh, about 76% uh, field visits. So it, it, it saved us uh, also a lot of money at this point. And, uh, uh, secondly, for the first time, uh, we used uh, non-compliance uh, parcels. Uh, uh, we identified them uh, and checked uh, over all uh, Lithuania territories. So it was a clear message uh, to to all frauds that uh, we can uh, monitor them and uh, see uh, what they are doing on the field. Uh, to summarize. Uh, the lessons learned, it was a really big step forward uh, to paying agency. Uh, we used uh, Sanfocap results uh, at operational level for, for SAPS controls. 
Uh, also, we simulated uh, 50 250 euro threshold calculations uh, uh, to see uh, all this green, yellow, and uh, red uh, parcels uh, situation. Uh, of course, we made uh, uh, some uh, research and uh, suggested the European Commission to increase uh, this 50 euro threshold to 100 euro in order to avoid uh, uh, follow-up cases. <clears throat> and uh, uh, also, I, I would really uh, want to, to, to thank you for, for all the Geopedia support team, because this Geopedia visual visualization tool uh, on the browser helped us a lot uh, to introduce uh, a monitoring approach uh, to Minister of Agriculture and Farmers. <laughs> and I would like to share uh, my personal experience uh, from uh, uh, exhibition uh, uh, in 2018, where we presented uh, uh, all paying agency activities uh, and uh, uh, during discussions uh, with farmers, uh, we showed uh, uh, this Geopedia system uh, lively on the screen and farmers were shocked that uh, we can uh, predict uh, crop types, see the activity, and uh, the feedback from the farmers uh, was very positive at this point. <clears throat> of course, uh, it helped us uh, to increase uh, the knowledge uh, of uh, Sentinel data usage in practice uh, by attending uh, live training workshops. Uh, uh, also, thank you for all Sentinel Cap team for this opportunity. And uh, it, <clears throat> it led us uh, to train the skills uh, on requirements writing, and it, it is very useful right now for in-house projects and other international projects like NIVA, Dion, and Envision. Uh, what should be improved? Uh, uh, first of all, we noticed that uh, when farmer uh, declares uh, arable land, but uh, uh, Sanfa Cap algorithm uh, predicts that it is uh, uh, grasslands. Uh, it is not uh, uh, transferred to move to grassland mowing detection algorithm. So it, it should it should be done in in, in the future or in other projects. And uh, uh, second uh, improvement uh, could be life cycle information over uh, the, the products uh, over the results because. For example, in first version, you can uh, see that uh, the parcel is green, but on, on the second or on the third version of the results, it, 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 it can be a uh, hello parcel, non-compliant parcel. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, the, the accuracy of grassland mowing detection is strongly affected by, by grazing activity, because uh, uh, grazing uh, activity is not so easily uh, to detect uh, over the, the Sentinel uh, data. And finally, I would like uh, to share, uh, to introduce the, what we're doing in NIVA project. Uh, paying, National Paying Agency from Thania are uh, leading uh, use case two for field application. And the main idea is uh, to delineate preliminary boundaries uh, by using Sentinel-2 images and enrich uh, this data, uh, the preliminary uh, crop type and uh, Sentinel CAP uh, uh, results are used to check if, if any results uh, uh, can be gathered uh, at the beginning of declaration, uh, would be available during declaration period as a preliminary crop type of duty data and uh, analyze uh, at what concrete time uh, how much quantity of crop types, parcels, area, and farmers uh, uh, could benefit uh, from these results. So first uh, insights are that uh, at the beginning of declaration, uh, we could uh, perform uh, preliminary checks and uh, control declaration uh, of permanent grasslands and arable land, uh, uh, winter crops with other crops, uh, and winter rate with other crops. So for example, a farmer uh, declares and selects a uh, uh, summer crop uh, type uh, so we could uh, uh, inform that uh, from from sentinel data we can see that uh, on his field uh, 
uh, it is predicted uh, the venture crops so it, it could uh, uh, let farmer to, to avoid uh, a mistaken declaration so thank you for attention and uh, looking questions uh, during discussion session